Hello Sagittarius, Elsie here to do a bonus read for you my friends. How are you my fire family? Thank you so much for clicking here. Just thought I'd come by with a couple of decks and give you a little bit of energy for uh, before the week starts, right? Thought we'd look at some uh, Kipper and some Lenormand today. We're going to throw some tarot at it a little bit, find out what's coming up for you, give you a little bit of energy. When I come here for a bonus read, Sag, if you've been here before, you know that my intention is to read for the current energy or the future. So if it doesn't resonate, it might be because it hasn't happened yet. Take it uh, as it resonates for you. Let's find out what's going on with you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What do we need to know about Sag from the Kipper, please? What do we need to know about Sagittarius? We've got the courthouse, Sag. What's going on with you here? We've got distant horizons. And we have thief. Well, interesting. It looks like somebody here might be um, engaged in something that has to do um, with the law, it could be. Um, we have distant horizons. So this is something that I'm going to say is coming up for you. This is not going on right now. Um, but for some of you, you might resonate with this. Like, oh yeah, I got to deal with that thing that that court date is coming up or whatever it is. I feel like there is um, something that's coming up in the distant. It says distant horizons here. Bottom of the deck, there's an expectation. So for some of you, it does feel like there is something that needs to be settled in court. I feel like you might be feeling um, in lack about that right now. And the fact that we had the thief right here tells me that you might be fighting for money. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, whatever situation that might be for you. Could be an employer-employee situation. Could be a divorce-separation situation. But there is, um, we've got the thief here. Now, in this particular picture, it does show that there is a woman here trying to distract the man with with what's in her shirt, right? And as she's doing that, because she's put the child up to stealing something from him. So I want to say that you feel as though something's, someone's trying to take something from you. It could be children, could be money, could be a house, it could be maybe there's an argument over the will, so maybe someone passed away back there. Um, I feel like there is something coming up that you're going to have to deal with uh, in terms of possibly a legal thing where it it looks like it is probably something about someone who is trying to take something from you who you feel um, it's not theirs. It's not theirs. It's yours. Um, we've got uh, card number 28. This is the man. He's wearing the sign of Mars around his neck, which tells me that he's he could be Aries. He doesn't have to be. Um, could be Scorpio as well. Uh, we do have the Ace of Cups in the bottom right hand corner. Card number 28 indicates that this person is waiting for a new beginning, possibly. We have card number 24. Card number 24 is about the um, is about the the swans and swans mate for life. Bottom right hand corner of this court card here is the Jack of Hearts, which is the Knight of Cups. So there is somebody here who is in a, a romantic energy, I would say. Someone who's ready to take a new path. Someone who's ready to uh, start something new. And then we have um, the, uh, the letter here. So card number 27, which is a nine. It's interesting because we do have a nine here and we also have a nine here. So card number 36 is a nine. Card number 27 is a nine. And so I feel like somebody here is, is waiting for word. It's like I'm waiting for word from somebody that possibly you might have a romantic interest in. This person might be someone who is going through something at the courthouse, but it feels like it's taking a long while. And this person... Um, might be in hermit mode right now. They might be writing a letter to you. Um, your expectation is that you're going to hear from someone. We do have um, some synchronicities going on here, right? We've got 27 and 36. Both of those cards break down to a nine. And then we have 23, 24. So we have progression. We have two cards that are 24 and two cards that are 28. So we have a lot of uh, a lot of synchronicities. So I'm going to say if you're watching this, Sag, that you've been seeing synchronicities and it might not necessarily be those numbers like 2828 or 2424 could be a number. Maybe you're seeing nines. Nines, I think, are indicating that there is something that is almost at the end of the cycle. I feel like something is about to show itself here. We've got the, um, um, we've got the ring. It does feel like somebody here, this could be, you know, it's a male's body, but feminine or masculine energy, take it as it resonates for you. I feel like somebody here has romantic feelings and I think they're going to write them down. Like for some of you, I think it might be, um, maybe you're the writer 
I feel like it's going to be uh, pen to paper. I feel like it's going to be old school. And for others of you, it might be an email that you're writing and putting in the drafts and writing and putting in the drafts. So something that you keep going over and over because you want to be able to say the right thing. That being said, this could be someone who is about to connect with you about something. It feels like somebody is settling something legal right now and they anticipate that somebody is going to try and take something from them. So it feels like this person here, whether they're feminine, feminine or masculine, is a person who I feel is writing a love letter. Like it feels like they're writing down their feelings. So this could be a journal, but I do feel like it's a letter. I feel like with the card number nine tells me that somebody is um, in hermit energy writing down all of their feelings. But there is somebody here in the distance who has an expectation that there is um, that there is uh, something that is going to be coming together here. I feel like it's, you're going to come to the knowledge. This is the book of knowledge, book of secrets. And, and I'm just looking here and there's a bridge. It feels like somebody wants to build a bridge to someone else. Possibly you built, wanting to build a bridge to someone or someone wanting to build a bridge to you so you can walk over it to them and finally get reconnected. That's what I want to, uh, that's what I'm feeling here. We've got the Ten of Pentacles here, the Ten of Swords. And so whatever is in this book, whatever the knowledge or the, um, or whatever is in this book of knowledge or secrets is something that is positive. It's something that's long lasting. And then we do have the ring here. I feel like something is about to happen quickly. It does feel like it is sort of around this this man here, whoever this is. And um, I feel like this man is the one who's probably at the courthouse, who is um, sort of uh, anticipating either coming towards something that's going to take a long while uh, to get straightened out because somebody might be trying to take something that is theirs. Could be a business, right? If you start a business with the wrong person and you get everything tangled up and then the relationship doesn't work out, it could be that somebody here is um, is tangled in something like that. It also could be a divorce. Take it as it resonates for you. Let's look at some tarot. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. What else do we need to know about Sagittarius? The, the the letter here we do have the seven of the seven of swords is in the bottom right hand corner um, it feels like there is this is being done in secret it feels like this person is doing this in secret this is not something that you know about but it might be something you have a feeling about it feels like somebody's writing down their feelings they are romantic feelings here somebody this person bottom right hand corner is the ace of cups this person is in love with someone but first they must take care of whatever's going on at the courthouse it feels like this could take a while and this might be a delay if somebody's waiting for someone to come by this person um, doesn't necessarily have to be someone who you're in love with or who loves you this could be a parent this could be anybody in your life really it doesn't have to be somebody who's in in the terms of a love reading right tell me more hmm. i'm not going to go die for that one we've got uh the page of wands we've got the fool yeah there's a new beginning here somebody is taking somebody's taking a step forward here and it feels like the page of wands tells me that somebody here is about to receive a message and i was talking about the letter you might receive a text for some of you. You might receive a handwritten letter. It could be something dropped in your mailbox. Look for a post date. It may not come through the mail is what I'm saying. If someone knows where you live, they may drop a note in the box. It could come through mail. It could come through snail mail if that's the way your person communicates. If that part isn't for you, then don't take it. It's not for you. So we do have the King of Wands. We do see somebody here who is very fixated on the fool. The King of Wands is uh, somebody who is who is going to get what they want. The King of Wands is um, is an energy of, they're, they're always going to get what they want. There's there's nothing that will stand in, in between the King of Wands and what they want. So I feel like there is a new beginning here with the Page of Wands. It tells me that there's a new path that's about to open. There's some excitement that's being created here. It feels like it feels like something is on the verge of happening. I want to say Sagittarius for you. Something is on the verge of happening, but I want to say that you're kind of um, not really paying attention to it. There's something that's going on behind the scenes here, and I feel like you're not paying attention to it. I feel like you're very, you're very fixated on whatever it is that you do. Maybe you are an artist. Maybe you are someone who is a um, person who does 
uh, web mastery, um, you know, someone who builds websites, possibly someone who works from home. It could be this could be that you are very engaged in perfecting something. So you could be an artist or you could be someone who is who is maybe in a very practical energy of maybe I if I did this and put it out there, maybe it'll make me money trying to monetize things. This is also about painstaking work, whether it's on yourself or something, some sort of creative project that you're working on. I feel like you, it, it is going to work for you, by the way, but I feel like um, you are going to get the victory. We've got victory twice here. and We've got balance as well. Um, but I feel like it, this is something that you're keeping under the surface, that you're not really telling people that... Um, I feel either you're working on yourself or you're working on some sort of a project. This could also be your own business. Now, in the midst of this, because you can see the eight of the person on the eight of pentacles has their back to everything. So I feel like Sag, this is it feels like you're, it's your energy. I know it's pentacles and you're a fire sign, but it does feel like it's your energy of I'm busy working away on my business or creating something or um, working on myself. And I feel like this this is keeping you very um engaged in something that you're building i want to say whether that's you or or whether it's a business so i feel like you don't really see any of this going on so i feel like i'm telling you what's going on behind you what's going on in the, what's going on behind the scenes is what i'm telling you this king of wands is ready to take a, a leap of faith here a leap of faith onto a new path and the page of wands is here to tell me that this is something that they're unfamiliar with they feel like they're going back to the drawing board or they're going back to the beginning of something and um, and they they are I feel like this person is pretty pretty sure that it's going to work I, I do see that that they both have wands and the wands are blooming so I want to say we're at the beginning of something here but we are beginning at the beginning of something that's blooming but first we got to talk about this because there are things going on here um, for this person that is creating a delay here I feel like this person is somebody who is dealing with legal stuff maybe the courthouse um, this person is sort of dreaming of what things will come up hang on ah i just heard imagine dragon say i'm dreaming of better things and i'm gonna leave my old life behind that's thunder by imagine dragons so i feel like uh somebody here is about to leave their old life behind this person's looking for a new beginning because we got card number 28 28 is a 10 10 is a one right and that's the beginning of something also the ace of cups is here we also have card number 28 look we have two people here so it could very well be possible that two people are going to come together here that there is an expectation and i always i always say you know the expectations keep them keep them at a, at a minimum right because if you don't have all these expectations you can't be let down um but another thing I noticed back here is this occupation card here. Somebody who's working really hard. So I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you are either taking on extra time at work, taking overtime, um, keeping yourself very busy. But for some of you, I feel like you're working on something. You're building on your own. I feel like you're, you're very good at something. You're a subject matter expert on something. And you might even be a jeweler or somebody who's making jewelry, right? This person's making pentacles, but you might be someone who makes jewelry. Um, tell me about this page of wands. Well, you know what? First, we should probably find out what's going on in the courthouse, right? <laughs> what's going on at the courthouse and why is this delaying um, this, this person here? Why is it delaying them? We have the three of pentacles. We have the temperance card. And we have the six of cups. There is somebody here who is in the midst of some sort of a legal issue. I wouldn't say it's a battle. It doesn't feel like a battle, but it feels like we need to straighten things out, get the right signatures on the right documents so we can maybe disperse from each other. That's what it feels like here. There is somebody here that the man has had a long time friendship with, a long time relationship with. I feel it was a friendship that turned to love for this man. And I feel like the Three of Pentacles is telling us with the Six of Cups that this person knew this person from a long time ago. So it might be two people that are soulmates or that they known each other for a long time that it went from they went from friendship to love um the temperance card is here and so i feel like it's time 
I, I, it almost feels like this person has learned their lesson. They've learned a lesson that they needed to learn in this karmic situation. And the temperance card is showing up to say it's time for things to change. It's time for things to change and that you need to be patient because temperance is about patience. So if you haven't heard from this person and you're expecting to or your intuition is telling you that you're going to hear from this person, I'm going to say expect delays because I feel like there is something going on here that might be going on for a while because of the Distant Horizons card. Tell me what's in this letter, please. Tell me what's in this letter. It's the contents of the letter. You know, the Seven of Swords being on the bottom right-hand corner tells me that someone's either keeping it secret or they're about to say something to you in a letter or a text or an email that they've never expressed to you before. And I think it has to do with, with uh, feelings that they have, romantic feelings. This isn't this isn't deep love. Like the kings and the queens are deep love. The when we see the the jack of hearts or the knight of cups, the knight of cups is the one that's interested in romance. This is the one that comes after the page, right? Uh, we're no longer a page. Now we're looking at romance. It's no longer um, it's no longer that I have just butterflies in the belly. Now I really see kind of a future that might go on here. We do have the ace of cups. This person really is about to express some sort of feeling. Feelings that they might have for you here, Sagittarius. We have the Five of Wands. And we have the Two of Pentacles. This person is a little bit uh, worried about what other people might say. So I feel like there may be a difference we're looking at here. Because we have the, the Five of Wands. And here we can see people are engaged in gossip. This is about holding back or having indecision. And I feel like the reason that this person is keeping this undercover, it feels like they haven't told anybody or not even you, is because they're worried about what other people might say. That tells me that maybe that there is some sort of a difference here. It feels like he, this person needs to make a decision about what they're going to do because it feels like there is a difference here. It could be an age difference. It could be an economic status. It could be anything. It, it, it feels like there's a big difference and this person feels like when they do finally um, reveal what's in the letter that it is going to cause other people to talk, to gossip. And I don't know that this person is ready for that because they're already engaged in something back here in their community. I feel like their community is watching watching this person go through these legal proceedings because someone is trying to take their abundance from them possibly um, or just trying to get one over on them. This is a day of dropping cards apparently. Dropping all kinds of cards today. All right. Tell me about this page of wands. So I feel like I feel like this person either is writing down something to say to you while they're on the phone. Like it feels like they, they've been thinking about it for a while. And it feels like there is a lot of excitement building about some sort of a new beginning because the King of Wands is about to take action. That's what the King of Wands does, right? Um, tell me about, tell me about the Fool. We've got the Four of Pentacles. This is something that's totally undercover. You don't know about it, my friend. You don't know about it. You have no idea this is going on. This is something that's being kept quiet, that there's an ending going on that you don't know about. So while you're blissfully unaware, creating, or whatever it is that you're doing here, I feel like someone else, somebody that might have feelings for you, is um, is having an ending with an empress, having an ending with someone else. So it does feel like that there is a, this seems like a high level relationship. Like it seems like two people are together in a relationship that is also a business. That's what it feels like here. And the empress here is somebody who is with child. So there could be a child involved for some of you, not all of you, of course, please remember it's a general reading. But this person is somebody who is, who is abundant on their own. So I feel like this king of wands has decided to take a leap of faith and and they're not telling anybody about some sort of betrayal that they they feel betrayed. Whether they've been betrayed or not is not the question. They feel betrayed. So I feel like they feel betrayed by the Empress and they're not telling anyone. And so I feel like there is a, a breakup going on here. What is this? Um, I feel like this person's really excited to communicate with you, but they've got to keep it under wraps right now. And of course because they're going through all this kind of stress and anxiety here that I feel like it's sort of lending sort of a uh, an energy of I'm not really sure if I should say anything I'm just going to write it down and if I feel like I should drop it in the mailbox or drop it in the mail or drop it off at their house then I'll do that somebody here is trying to make a decision about what to do with what they've written down that's what it feels like here tell me um, about the king of wands 
because somebody here it doesn't have to be an Aries a Sagittarius or a Leo by the way right the king of wands is also an energy so it is the energy of someone who is ready to step forward or ready to take action on something because the king of wands will always take action on what they want and nothing will stop them from getting what they want so whether this person is someone who is an Aries a Sagittarius or Leo they could be Libra or Taurus possibly um, we also have um, some pentacle energies here right it could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, we've got Aries right here so take it as it resonates for you right we've got uh, the seven of wands so this person I feel is holding themselves back for now because they are feeling defensive they're trying to hold their ground on this legal stuff right there is something that is delaying them from speaking with you coming toward you here you might be a person that said look I'm not even dealing with anybody who's dealing with somebody else so don't even come forward until your stuff is done so it could very well be that so I feel like this person is holding back from uh, from sending a message to you why is that paraffin because they need to deal with whatever's going on in this commitment that they've got themselves into I also feel like this person is listening to the higher self like they're like nope it's not the right time this person is somebody who's really listening to the self so it does feel like there is somebody here who I feel is going through some legal issues, maybe legal issues that you don't know about because your back is to the whole thing. I feel like this is going on and I feel like somebody here, like I feel like Sagittarius, you might feel like, well, that person just pushed me out of their life and I'll never hear from them again. I feel like somebody is sort of embroiled in something they can't get out of right now, but it almost feels like it's a delay because of that. And I feel like they've been either, I don't know, writing in a journal, writing a letter, writing an email, writing a text and saving it, or it feels like somebody is about to communicate with you. Um, but I feel like it's going to take a bit a bit of time. Look, this is gonna, for, for some of you, if you're not the, the one who's making jewelry, it could, it could end up that this is, you know, a book of secrets. Somebody has a secret intention here. That's what it looks like. Tell me about this message. What is this person gonna say to Sag? got the five of swords we've got the death and we have uh, the chariot here um, the five of swords and the death card tells me that this person doesn't want to argue anymore they don't want to fight they want to work out any sort of fundamental differences that you two might have this person is going to be they might even connect with you before this this legal stuff has finished they might connect with you by letter and let you know what's going on um, uh, or email or text but I do feel like this person doesn't want to argue or fight anymore. They want to work out the fundamental differences. They want to transform the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is the place where we sort of have egoic battles, right? Maybe they feel like they've alienated you. Maybe they feel like they were in the wrong. That they, It feels like somebody here is trying to make something right because they feel like they were in, a, in the wrong the way that they just jetted away, the way they left you. The chariot's here. And the chariot is cancer energy, so feelings are under the surface. So I feel like there is something going on here. There is a delay. Um, take it as it resonates for you, my friend. Uh, we do have the Nine of Wands and we have the Page of Swords. So somebody's trying to get some clarity on... Um, when this is going to be over. It feels like it's almost over, right? We have nines. We have a nine here. We have a nine here. We have a nine here. Three nines, right? It feels like something is right at the end of the cycle. So the the um, the page of swords is telling me that if you feel like somebody's watching you, if you know that someone's watching you online, Sag, it could be this person. It could be that they are observing you from a distance because they don't, they don't want to get you entangled in all of their junk here, right? That's what it feels like here. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks, Sag, for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you, and I appreciate all the ways that you keep loving on this channel. Thank you so much. I am your Sag Drives and sister, and so I appreciate you so, so much for building this tribe. Thank you for doing that. I'm going to go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back, y'all. Happy Sunday. Bye-bye.